Hello, friend. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Come on, read the Bible with me. We're going to be in Luke chapter 6. We're going to read from verse 1 to verse 12. Let's get to it. And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first that he went through the cornfields, and his disciples plucked the ears of corn and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. And certain of the Pharisees said unto them, Why do you... Why do ye that which is in not lawful to do on the Sabbath days? Yeah, believe it or not, there are some people that will come pick fights with you if you're just eating. <laughs> and Jesus answered him and said, Have ye not read so much as this, what David did, when he himself was a hungered, and they which were with him? How he went into the house of God, and did take and eat the showbread, and gave also to them that were with him, which it is not lawful to eat, but for the priest alone? And he said unto them, That the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. I love that he's like, This historical precedent for this. And also I'm God and I can do what I want. <laughs> and it came to pass also on, on another Sabbath that he entered. I'm trying to right now. Sometimes everyone, no matter how professional you are, you will mess up when trying to read. That he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. Aw. Uh, and the scribes and the Pharisees watched him, whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. These, sto these stone-hearted old men were going to be mad at Jesus for healing a man on the Sabbath day. He came to use his right hand. All he's got was all that was left. Jokes. But seriously, though, like, this guy like was missing a hand, and Jesus was going to give him a hand. Again, jokes. But still, they were going to be mad at Jesus for healing a man. That they might have final accusation against him. Some people want to be right, no matter who suffers the consequences for it. Beware of those people. Anyways, continuing in verse 8. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man, which he had withered hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, Well, I, I, I won't try this again. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, no matter how professional or how much you read the Bible, you will make mistakes if you read it. But that's fine. God forgives. I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil? To save life or to destroy it? Mm. So he's questioning them. It's like, what's more important? That you keep a rule or that you do what's right? And looking around, round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored whole as the other. Some might take this as an opportunity to explain that if you listen to Jesus, healing and miracles go into your life. Because he did everything Jesus did. He's like, stood up, he stood up. Stretched forth your hand, he stretched forth his hand, and he was healed. So, it's probably the best idea to follow what God says. Gravity. Anyway, and they were filled with madness. <laughs> A man was made whole, and they were made, filled with madness, and communed one with another what they might do to Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all the night in prayer to God. You see, Jesus was just doing his job. He just went and he ate. He didn't do it on the correct day. Um, but he's explaining that the idea of worshiping God is living. How did the man put it? When he was asked of which is the best commandment, he said, love the Lord God with all you got. I mean, like your whole being, your soul, your strength, your mind, everything. And love your neighbor as yourself. And that's what Sabbath is about, was remembering that day. And he was telling them, it's like, there's precedence for it. And is it is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil? Because he was out there healing people. And they were out on the Sabbath too. They just weren't doing what he was doing, but they were out on the Sabbath. So, it's just kind of funny, he's pointing out their hypocrisy and their anger at him for no reason. I hope you go around helping people like Jesus did and make the world a better place by following what he says. Because if you do what Jesus says, like that man did, he could, you could do amazing things. Even when there's people around you just being angry for no good reason. <laughs> hope you have a nice day. God bless you and goodbye.